This is the Tiger style. Welcome to Tiger Style's Tech Tutorial Tuesday, where I show you how to do all the technical tricks you need to know and the best tips you want to know on how to be a cyber pro. So for today's video, I wanted to have a bit of fun with you and also show you a quick little demo of how a very tiny little bit of simple code can cause all kinds of trouble and also why you should be very very careful about opening files that you do not know the purpose or origin of so it seems like everyone is talking about a, a virus we all know about these days but let's not forget about all the other viruses out there I'm talking about computer viruses so what is a computer virus? Well, a virus is a software program designed to cause changes in how a particular program behaves. A virus does this by making a change to the code of the target software, uh, which it gains access to by exploiting a security vulnerability. Uh, and when this happens, you usually get some kind of undesirable change in the way this software program is operating or behaving. So what I will show you today is a virus known as a logic bomb. Specifically this is a fork bomb. And what a fork bomb does is when it is executed it goes into like uh, an infinite loop so it just keeps going it won't stop and eventually the system will hang or crash because of the sh shortage of system resources and you can design a virus to achieve many different types of objectives of course uh, for example you can create a small virus to delete a windows operating systems system 32 directory files um, you can imagine what kind of damage that's going to do on execution this code can damage the system and it may require extensive time and skill and money to fix it and this is how it looks up here I'll just type it up on the terminal the at echo off command does not show the command being executed so it allows it to run in the background and you probably if that is the case you probably won't know until it's too late I'm afraid but that is a whole other video for today let's get stuck into some fun hacking stuff and create a fork bomb using a batch file then we'll execute it and see what happens Before we get started, listen up. I want to make a very important disclaimer and give you a strong word of warning about using these hacking techniques. This video is for educational purposes only and that goes for all of my hacking tutorials as well. The purpose is to educate and inform, that is all. So please, be careful don't break any laws and only ever use these techniques on systems networks and devices that you have express permission to interact with 
in that way. It is illegal if you don't have permission. And if you are unsure, don't do it. So there's a legal side of things. But there's also the fact that these hacks are designed to break things. You could accidentally cause real damage to people you care about or yourself if you break something that, for example, can't be replaced or just costs a lot of money to fix. For today's exercise, I'm using a Windows 10 machine, which I've already connected to so that we're ready to go. And the first thing is to go and open up Task Manager from the Windows 10 desktop. Right click the taskbar and select Task Manager. Then there we have Task Manager window displayed and click the more details drop down arrow the task manager window expands with the processes tab selected by default we want to click on the performance tab and the reason we want this open is so that we can observe the workings of the fork bomb execution notice that the performance of various components such as CPU and memory uh, is displayed on that tab. For now though just minimize the task manager window. Now you will just go and open notepad and in notepad that is where we will write the virus code and save it as a batch file. We're using Notepad here because Windows, obviously, but actually you could use any text editor that is available in your system. If you can't find Notepad, type Notepad in the search bar and it will show up in the search for the search result an untitled notepad is ready for you now it's time to create a new batch file in the notepad type the following fork bomb code percent symbol then a zero next is sometimes called a pipe or a vertical bar is the symbol at the top of the backslash key then another percent and another zero that's it pretty simple right uh, but it's still harmless like this actually until we save it as a batch file If you are unfamiliar, a batch file contains instructions to be executed in sequence. In this batch file, percent zero is the name of the currently executing code. And for this batch file, it is going to repeatedly execute itself forever. It quickly creates many processes and slows down the system. First, the percent zero command is run, and then the second percent zero command, which is located after the pipe, is also run. They both run repeatedly until manually stopped. All right, so to save the file, over there in the toolbar, click File, Save As. The Save As dialog box appears. 
save the file onto the desktop. To do this, select desktop in the left pane. Then give it a file name. We're calling it forkbomb.bat. Now from the save as type drop down, select all files. If you don't choose all files, the file will be saved with the default .txt extension. So by selecting all files, you can provide any other extension with that file name. Click save and then close the fork bomb notepad. Now you'll see the fork bomb dot bat file is created on the desktop. But before we execute it, let's go and restore task manager by clicking on the icon. Now in task manager, just take a few moments to have a look at the CPU usage under the performance tab before you execute the fork bomb dot bat batch file. Observe the CPU activity in the left pane. The CPU utilization is quite low at the moment. Not much happening on this computer right now. And that may vary depending on your system, but you have a baseline now. Now, you want to go and reduce the size of the task manager window so that the forkbomb.bat file is visible on the desktop. Done? Are you ready? Let's go ahead and execute the forkbomb.bat file on your desktop. You do this by right clicking fork bomb and selecting open Whoa, how about that doesn't look too good does it uh, the command prompt window is popped open and the fork bomb the bat file starts executing recursively it won't stop it can't stop So, the batch file has executed its malicious code and it's doing its thing. Take a look at that CPU usage in Task Manager. There under the Performance tab, check it out. CPU activity going crazy now. The CPU utilization went up to 100% and the Memory consumption has jumped up from 2.9 gigabyte. So what does that mean? Well, this Windows 10 machine might hang and probably will crash itself. The Windows OS kernel may abruptly just close and you might not be able to reconnect to the device. The only way to stop the execution of this virus is to reboot the device. Also, ideally, if you see something like this on one of your own devices, you probably want to quarantine it immediately so that it's not connected in any way to any network or other device because until you know what kind of virus you have, it is best practice to isolate any risky device or system. But I'll cover more into that in a later video. Today I just wanted to show you a fun example of a very simple logic bomb and how easy it can be created and executed.
strong, your skill will be useless against him. Don't underestimate Tiger Kung Fu. Tiger style's unbeatable. Now this is the Tiger style.